The mission of Peace Week is to host activities that educate and promote peace, highlighting different organizations and individuals, making a difference in their community. And kicking off their seventh annual week, they're at the 7th Street Murals, highlighting through art that mission. Early Sunday morning, between a sea of art, there was prepping, there was engaging, there was aligning, a calm that came with an endless effort to convey the message of peace. And snuggled near the underpass sits Melissa Gill, painting the portrait of a woman from a photograph. So her name is Mayumi Oda, and she's an artist and an activist. Oda inspired Gill from miles away through activism felt two decades ago in Japan. She is most known for organizing uh, Japanese Americans to end uh, Japanese protest against a famous plutonium shipment um, that was going over to Japan. But closer to home for Tanya Hollyfield, Senator Joyce Elliott is her muse, citing her compassion for community as inspiration. Joyce is the first one that came to mind. And not to mention that she, she just has really such a strong, beautiful face, too. She wants to do the portrait justice in the same way that she says Elliot rallies for justice. So she's focused on every detail. She's actually got a, a, a stern look, but yet it smiles at the very corners of the mouth. Atop the underpass, a train goes by, which is the inspiration for Hamid Ibrahimi Hifar's mural across the street. The con concept really is simple. It's uh, based on a uh, song that I remember, you know, hearing it when I was much younger, a teenager, up by Cat Stevens. The song's called Peace Train, and Ibrahimi Hifar created the outline for others to come and add their touch to fill in the blanks. I just want to envision something like celebratory, you know, all people around the train. With different hands stroking the concrete for the Arkansas Peace Week event, everyone's touch is meant to be a literal reminder of how we're all in this together. We need a peace train, for sure. And so this is symbolic that, you know, that really we need to find other alternatives. Jay Jackson, THV 11 News.